found the angle, sorry guys. Oh god. Blinking phone. Anyway. Yeah, guys. Let's go Gathway 303 here. This is an update about some of the videos I have on YouTube at the moment. Fortunately, not by computer, so I might not remember them all. So, um, first one I uploaded, which was on Tuesday, well, I actually uploaded it yesterday, but I filmed it Tuesday, was the Spooky Tunnel after Fort, uh, under Fort Nelson, um, near Fet, which I think that's between Fair and Portsmouth, that is. Me and Dad were just visiting now the day out, and, um, I know it's a lot of people on YouTube. Well, when I be re when I be re for a start on YouTube, actually filmed it. That's what got me interested in into it. So I meant to actually film that kind of style thing. So it's quite spooky. So I thought it was quite popular, popular on YouTube, guys. Uh, the next one is a car 43 HST, pretty mark three characters. Yes, that was the first Great Western one. That was filmed yesterday and uploaded yesterday too. Um, there wasn't just in the car park, but I've got to film them. I don't really have much, much space at all. Uh, well, in the car 43 HST, I was just um, standing in the door area of, of Coach D when I had him entertainment. And, um, actually, I think it was a Coach E, I might remember. Anyway, never mind. Um, Yes, yeah, so I was by the doors, but as we're going so fast, I didn't actually put the camera out, and Dad told me not to, because he said he might lose, lose the phone, which is fair enough. Anyway, yes, on that day we were having a bit of a day out. We actually drove all the way from here, to Chichester, to Reading, and it took us two hours because of traffic, and the very slowly slow lorries and tractors, and all that. Had to go through Bracknell and all that. And anyway, something I didn't film on the way, I saw two southwest trains, car 455, coupled together, going into Blacknell, and then I saw them at Reading. That is rare. And actually, um, I was just um, going onto the pl platform to actually see the train, yeah? And I saw one of the uh, carriages taken out of the class 508, which is completely refurbished. And I, I, I do like the station announcements. There, they're nice, yes. They are an ATOS system that used to be Ditra with, with um, Celia Drum and Joyce, but that's now gone because all this first group station is actually all together now, like including Reverse Capital Connect. They had their system, sorry, I got a cold. They have their system upgraded to ATOS, so um, and I just Weirdly, I was really wanted to hear, hear Anne say Southwest Trains and, and London Waterloo. Because I never heard her say that before, but don't know why. Anyway, Southwest Waterloo, the next train to depart from Platform 4 will be the, well, Tribal Wars, I can't remember. Sounds like Southwest Trains service to London Waterloo. Yeah, but that's actually said, so I say the Southwest Train, that's just, she actually says Southwest Trains, like that. I really don't know why. <laughs> anyway, I did see some fourth for that day, but I didn't get on camera. Anyway. Yeah, and also I saw some cross country voyages and uh, sprinters. Oh yeah, I did get a video of Voyager actually. That is on, on my channel now. Yeah, I might have a video all of a Thames Turbo or a Networker Turbo, class 165. Um, arriving into Reading from Paddington. You're having a day out from Reading to London, Paddington, or so. Or like I was trying to say earlier. Yeah, it was quite a nice train. It was doing all stops. And I did not know that train had automated announcements. I knew it had a display, but I did not know it had automated announcements. Anyway, I'm a train to sort day. was Class 180 Atlanta, Class 332 Heathrow Express, Class 360 Heathrow Connect. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And also a few, um, Class 6 is the class 6, 7 is probably great on the good old Thames, Thames Rally line. Uh, yeah, so that's what the video's done. Yeah, I'm just doing this because I'm bored. It is Halloween, but not much to do really. Teenage stuff. 
Anyway, what else can I talk about? Uh, no, I was talking about his bike cars, I don't know, yeah, I was talking about him to so bored. Ah, maybe, um, sorry guys, uh, oh yeah, tomorrow, if I have the time, I might film a day walk this time, yeah, of a walk that I filmed tonight but I have not uploaded, of of the cab site where I actually, um, well, I haven't uploaded yet, but, um, on the cab site, um, I was just, uh, filming the cab site, but it was actually really dark, uh, and also the lamp post didn't look right, so, um, I'm going to film it in the morning, but the lights will be off, but you'll see more clearly, because it's actually day then, but I heard tomorrow it's going to be raining, so, it might not be tomorrow, it might be someone else for lamp time, something I'm doing school, I've got homework. I want to do and all that. Oh well, anyway, where was I? So I'll just go show you. I'll show you a few other gadgets. Maybe. I have, in this case, a Kindle Paperwhite, kind of switched off. Well, it's just damn anyway. Uh, nothing else much. Uh. Well guys, if you're watching this, yeah, now and you haven't subscribed yet, please do, if you want, but of course, yeah. Um, today not much happened, you just went to it. Oh wait, hang on, something to speak about. Sainsbury's in Rustington, that may look similar from, from the outside to the Bob Regis one, where I filmed the Cone Runners race, but it isn't, it is not. It has got the coolest parking area ever. This may sound weird, but it actually has. Yeah, it's, un it's underneath the shop, but it's actually the park space has got sensors. It's actually, um, and also a stick above them, which is which is illuminated green when it's places free, and then red when it's when it's not free because it's got a sensor in there. And also outside, it's got 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 screens telling you how, how many numbers there are. I don't know how many spaces are left, in other words. Yeah, it's quite clever technology, man. Unfortunately, apart from the outside area, which didn't have it. But, to my surprise, they had two quadricode monospace lifts. Excellent. One, one of them was double sided, and we were nearby that one, actually. One went to the outside bit, and one went to the inside bit. The other one just went to the inside bit, cut to the shop. Like that. And also, had two Otis travelators. And their voice that I could not understand. I kind of, I kind of understand a few words, but it sounded weird. I can't remember what it sounds like now, but oh well. Uh, anyway, last up uploads, excuse me. Um, I've been, I've been uploading stuff when I went to West Key. I didn't film anything on across the day. Um, um what the heck? Sorry, guys. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I filmed some of the West Key stuff. I know sometimes I've had like say like stuff a few titles saying video and then like the date it was filmed. That's because my phone was being really stupid. I already gave it a title, but when it after process it said could not upload, then it puts another vid then it puts that video on there again, but with the first title which the phone had. And that had to rename it and delete the other one. What the heck was that about then? Thinking phone? Uh, and, yeah, anyway, yeah, my videos were, one, I'm not sure if it was uploaded correctly, but one of the, um, O2000 VF list, the glass ones in the centre of West Quay, um, from parking level one, which is actually the bottom one, because the parking is around the other way around there, up to the upper shopping route, and then I've got two, I've got two of the, um, 90s cones now, yeah, the high rise ones in John Lewis in West Key, which is um, the I which I filmed between lower shopping and level two. So we we're actually going up there for a reason to get a drink. The other time, I went on my own and I went down in the cone lifts in Erinette, which I also filmed, to the park in level one, walked across the car park, and then we went in the John Lewis lifts all the way from parking one. To level two, which is 
tape from the bottom, the shaft takes the top of it. Boy, these were casted, by the way. Uh, our other videos were the was the fishing type lift and that the um, I think it was like a whole warehouse store. I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, I did have to read on those Bose two five one speakers in there. I don't. I do love those speakers, but I can't afford them unfortunately. He also had a uh, very modern fishing club lift. Yeah. Well, now it goes minus one G to, and then one. But I film from ground floor to minus one. Other lift. There's now to another lift which was Express. It was a generic, which had by Express Evans and H and HMV in, in Southampton Bar Street again. Upper Bar Street, that is. Um, and that one, and that actually, I'm usually they have the same people numbering as the one in that weird, in that other shop. And then um, we went in the, kind of one of the places in BHS. Uh, I guess I had one. Not much, not, not much, not much left to be talk about. So I'll try and get the, uh, I'll try and get, get a video uploaded. I'll try to get, I'll actually try to film the video first of the, um, of the, uh, site. We'll show you all the street dance when it's, a uh, day, if I can. I'm busy, busy, I'm 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 bus